Welcome to plant economics. So in the last videos we analyzed plant design and operation but of course this is directly tied or you need to know that well if the more money we have the easier the process the least money we have the harder the process to design will be. So in this section we're going to see if Having these lights, is it worth it? We don't need it actually guys, try to think it. Why do we need light in these towers? Well, the problem you will see later guys is that if you don't have these lights, the workers will not be able to see and if they are not able to see, they will increase their risk to have a accident. And accidents guys cost a lot of money. So yeah, in the long run, it's cheaper to operate with these lights because with these lights, we drop the percentage of probability to have an accident which means that in the long run we're going to spend less money and everything here is thinked on that shall we use this pipe or shall we use this pipe well what gives you more money in the long run many times you say okay I need to have a very non-efficient and very expensive pipe because in the future maybe I'm going to scale up so in the long run it may be good so the worst thing is when you have a small plant and you need and you see you're getting very good results and suddenly you cannot go further you cannot produce more than 10 tons per day and the sellers and vendors and all those guys are telling you that they need 20 tons per day that we could sell 20 tons per day if we had capacity but we don't so that was a very bad investment in that was more about on the profit analysis, all the economics behind, and especially marketing in the industry. Because you should know that there will be a high demand, or at least not know, but there are a lot of people interested in knowing how is the demand and consumption of materials, are they going up, down, and so on. So this is very interesting because we are finally including how much money, how much risk, and how much are we willing to give in order to get a plant done. So what do we study? A little bit on plant design, synthesis, valuation and evaluation. So how much does it cost to build? How much does it cost to research and develop? How much is the innovation? Uh, what's the price of it? Eventually, is it worth it? Yes, no, maybe. And finally, the evaluation is it worthy for the consumer because many times we say we got this magic pill will help you and the client suddenly says no I don't like it so all the synthesis valuation and evaluation were shit gone to the toilet because the client will not buy it so that this is also a very interesting concept and this is marketing economics consumer demand and so on. So you need to know a little bit of that. So that's why we analyze a little bit on the marketing and business engineering before I think we're in the block number one. You can check that. Why do we need marketing and accounting? Well, here you are. Now process economics, you will need to understand what is operating cost and capital cost. This is the money you are using for the let's say how much you need to run electricity water nitrogen air uh, whatever you can imagine uh, fixed cost flexible cost wages um, cost of la laboratory tests etc capital costs are essentially how much is this distillation column how much is this heat exchanger how much does it cost to install two pumps instead of one and so on you need to know the ROI which is return on investment and that's essentially a very important part in finance how much time or how much time are you going to get your money back so if I tell you give me one million dollars but I tell you I'm going to give it to you tomorrow that's not that much risk but if I tell you I will give you in 25 years you know that in 25 years you can have a lot of problems you might not even be alive at that time so this one right here has a lot of risk 
and this one right here has n almost no risk at all. So yeah, of course that guy might be lying, and this guy too. But eventually you're going to see that if you cover, I don't know, maybe you give this one million and you charge one percent. Well, for this guy you're going to need to charge too much of interest rate right? because there's too much risk. So you need to ask a lot every month. And I love this concept, actually. This is not only for plant economics. Now, the discount cash flow calculations and how does money moves across in time. Because if I tell you, give me 20 bucks right now or give them to in one year, well, US economy is not that fucked up. But if I were speaking on my money, and here in Mexico, it's 20 Mexican pesos. 200 sorry Mexican pesos well in one year this will not be that worth so maybe here I can buy four beers and I can even give one tip good tip now I will be able only to get three beers and almost half a tip in one year so of course you need to know that the net present value is very important how much is this money right now and how much is this money in the future and why in the future? Because we're going to operate this plant in the future, not only one year, guys. You are willing to get to maybe 10 or 20 years span. I know chemical plants have been almost for 80 years in constant operation. And annual cost, as the name implies, how much are you expending each year? You will see a lot of process simulation. If you don't have a, let's say, a, a class or a course for that, you will see here how much money you have plenty of how to say softwares that will make the simulations of the process like the technical part and will do the economics so that's awesome because not only you know if you can do it technically speaking you will be able to know it if that's a economy let's say if financially possible and once again typically you are going to have a final project and this is what I saw the most in all the courses I read about in the different universities is that typically you have this final project or this thesis or this I don't know they have plenty, a lot of names what for me is essentially a final project some project you need to do it integrates all your knowledge and is about a chemical plant or a chemical product how can you build it or maybe it's already existing product how can you improve it and well that's essentially what i wanted to show you so why do we need it i think it's very important that you understand the importance behind the economy or the economic effort that the plant or chemical plant requires so it's not about how hard it is to build this distillation column how hard it is to design it how hard it is to operate it but you also want to know is how hard it is to sustain this, how hard it is to install it. Speaking about money, how much is it? How much time? How much money? Is it worth investing in this? Or maybe the investor should just go and invest in some random apps or just maintain its money in the bank. So that's very interesting. How money moves across chemical industries. How about the return on investment? Once again, Roy, how much time? versus return of money and I love it this because it's what actually directors prefer or managers so they don't care about you designing this perfect distillation column they just want to know how much is it how much it costs and when it's going to get that money back so if you tell them it's 1 million I'm going to give you back 10% returns after the second year well that's actually a pretty good uh, deal where you say okay I have 1 million I'm going to give you maybe in 10 years I'm going to give you 2% of what you give me well that's not nice uh, but you are like yeah dude but it's very fancy distillation column it has 99.999% of separations they will tell you okay nice for you but I don't want to spend my money there and eventually it will help you to calculate very Let's say it's feasible to build a plant because sometimes it you can make it because it's technically speaking operative you can do it build it 
but if people is not willing to spend money on that well then it is not actually a like a possible plant or it's only a dream plant so that's what i wanted to show you and i think we're done guys yeah let me make a conclusion on these syllabus <laughs>